<clears throat> All right, we're going to take a look at some payroll problems. Um, so we're talking about taxes and net pay. So remember, net pay is the amount your check is actually written out for, and that is your gross pay, the amount you were, if you do like the number of dollars you make per hour times the number of hours you work, or your salary, that's your gross pay. Okay. We subtract any deductions from it, and that's how much you actually get in your check. Now, remember, deductions are things like taxes, cost for health insurance, those types of things that are um, subtracted from the amount that you make. So here's Jerome's, Jerome Jones. He delivers pizza for Papa Pizzas. He earns $8.40 an hour plus time and a half for every hour over 40. Last week he worked 45 hours. So the first thing that I notice here when I'm calculating his pay is that his pay is going to be sp split into two different amounts. He'll have his regular pay for the first 40 hours. And then for the rest of the time he'll get overtime, okay, which is time and a half. And how many hours overtime? How many hours did he have over 40? Um, he had five hours of overtime. <clears throat> okay, it says deductions include Social Security at 6.2% of gross, Medicare at 1.45% of gross, and a federal income tax of $14. What was Jones' net pay round to the nearest cent? Well, the first thing we're going to have to do is find out what his gross pay is. Okay, so again, we have his regular hours, which he got paid $8.40 an hour for the first 40 hours. That's his regular time pay. Okay, so let's calculate that 8.4 times 40. So his regular pay for his gross pay was $336. His overtime pay, well, let's find out what his overtime wage is. It says he gets time and a half, one and a half or 1.5, his regular rate. So we take his regular rate times 1.5, and that will tell us how many dollars an hour he makes. and we get $12.60, okay? So for overtime hours, he, instead of $8.40, he gets $12.60, and he had five overtime hours. We know that because it said every hour over 40, and he worked 45 hours. So I'm gonna take 12.6 times five, and when I do that, I get 63, okay? So his total gross pay will be made up of his regular pay and his overtime pay. So I take his regular pay of $336 and I add 63 more. And this will give me his gross pay. Okay, so his gross pay, the amount originally based on his dollars per hour, that he was going to make was $399. Problem is, he had some deductions, um, two different, three different taxes. So let's find the amount of each tax. Okay, so we'll go one at a time. Um, first, let's find Social Security was the first on the list, and it was at 6.2%. So to find the amount of tax, we take his gross pay, which we found was $399, times the tax rate for that tax. So we move the decimal two places to the left, which gives us 0 0.062. Okay, so here I will calculate Social Security will be $399 times 0 0.062, which if I round to the nearest cent gives me $24.74. Okay. The next tax it lists is Medicare. Okay. The Medicare rate is 1.45%. Again, move the decimal two places to the left. That gives me uh, 0 0.0145 for my rate. I take it times his gross pay of 399. Okay. So I'm taking 399 times 0 0.0145. That gives me five dollars and seventy nine cents for Medicare. The only other deduction is income tax and it just tells us the amount is fourteen dollars. We don't have to do any calculating there. Let's find our total deductions. 
okay? Because to get our net pay, we have to take gross pay minus the total deductions. We found the gross pay was $399. We found each of the deductions. Now we need to total those. So we take our $24.74 plus $5.79 plus $14. When we do, we get $44.53. That's our total deductions. So now we can actually answer the question. What was his net pay? Well, we take his, his gross pay, which was $399, minus his total deductions of $44.53. <clears throat> and when I do that, I get a gross pay of $354.47. That was a lot of calculating. It took up my entire page. <laughs> but again, what you have to do first on this problem is calculate his gross pay. So we found his regular hours, his overtime hours, and calculated each of those pay amounts. Added them together to get his gross pay. Then we took the gross pay times each tax rate to find out how much Social Security and Medicare tax we had added to that the federal income tax and that gave us our total deductions we then took <coughs> our gross pay we had found subtracted the total deductions and we have had our net pay <clears throat> Angel Carlos is a hairstylist at Expressions Style Center um, we want to determine his net pay once again for the week when his gross pay was 462. So this one's going to be a little less effort because they told us his gross pay. Medicare is 1.45%, Social Security 6.2%, he has a city tax of 1.5% and a federal income tax of $42. So, we are to the step where we need to find each of those deductions. So, let's go one at a time. The first one they listed was Medicare. So we take his gross pay of $462 times the rate. Remember to move the decimal two places to the left so that you're multiplying by 0 0.0145. We take 462 times 0 0.0145 and we get $6.70. We get 6.699, which we round to $6.70. The next thing listed is Social Security. I'm going to abbreviate that. Again, we take the gross pay of $462 times the rate, 6.2%. We move the decimal over, we get 0 0.062. Go ahead and multiply. And that gives me $28.64 for Social Security tax. All right. Next, we have a city tax this time of 1.5%. So we take $462 times 0 0.015. Again, we move that decimal over. We multiply. And we get $6.93. Okay. The last deduction on here is a $42 federal income tax. Again, we don't have to calculate anything there. They just went ahead and gave us the number. We're going to total our deductions, so we're going to add all of those together, the $6.70 plus the $28.64 plus $6.93 plus $42. And when we do that, we get $84.27. Okay, so those are our total deductions. Now we need we can find our gross pay because our gross pay is just our, our excuse me our net pay our net pay is just our gross pay minus our deductions okay so we take our gross pay which was once again four hundred and sixty two dollars we're going to subtract those deductions of eighty four dollars and twenty seven cents and we will have our answer okay we get three hundred and seventy seven dollars and seventy three cents